Puerta del Sol, Madrid. Sadly, it looks a bit ugly now because it's under reconstruction. They are turning it into a completely um, walking free zone, no more cars. So there's a lot of work going on. And it's mad. It's uh, Wednesday morning and I feel like I'm in Oxford Street in London. <laughs> uh, I will be going on a walking tour and I'm gonna be filming snippets to show you about some of the most important historical bits of Madrid. So let's see what we are gonna see today. One funky thing I noticed that all of the street names have beautiful mosaic to go with them. It's pretty cool. It's the same everywhere I've seen in the center. Presidential Palace. Which used to be the old um, postal building and that's why that's the name of the street. I just spotted the poster which says the Ham Museum. <laughs> There. Wow, that's a beautiful one. Before I tell you who he is or what he does, I want to play a game. So tell me, what is wrong with this clock? Something is off, something is different. What is it? Four is weird. Four, well done. So if you have a look at number four, normally you'll see them in Roman numbers with the beat and the stick. This is the story. I'm going to tell you my favorite, and then I'm going to tell you a boring one. Okay? Traditional song. Now, don't expect him to be like one of the ones in half an hour the clock chimes and he does something interesting okay hello <laughs> we have just arrived to the famous plaza mayor now let's hear a few interesting and useful facts about it it's nice I'll come back later. What's impressions? What do you feel? What do you think? Yeah, beautiful. Does <laughs> it make me blush? <laughs> <laughs> so when, normally when I ask this question, they're like, oh yeah, grand, royal, ooh. Someone said to me the other day, it's got no address. I was like, you know what, you're right. It's got no Samsung display, it's got no McDonald's sign, which is rare in the center, no, in the city center. How old do you think Black Mayor is? Tip girl taverna. 
with the menu there there. Well, guys, if you follow these streets, you'll end up in the neighborhoods of La Latina and Lava Pies. Okay, we have stopped and Sobrino de Botin, which is the oldest restaurant in the world, 1725, still ongoing, led by the same family. This is the oldest barbers from the beginning of the 1900s. It's the place where I was telling you connects to the butchers, and they would have brought the meat down here to this uh, to the street. Now this is the shortest. Luis Canelas was the equivalent of Robin Hood in Madrid a long time ago. <laughs> These small restaurants we are passing by are actually the old, um, oh, what do you call them? The underground bits because um, it's literally under Plaza Mayor. <laughs> I want to take this uh, stop yeah. just to make sure I never Free lose anyone. This is a big group, it's only the first time. We circled back close to Plaza Mayor, which is in there. There are so many interesting things. <laughs> Beautiful buildings. And that one I just filmed. A few seconds ago is Mercado de San Miguel, one of the markets where you can have fancy expensive tapas. <laughs> so I'm gonna go have a look, but I'll give the tapas a miss. There's some funky tuk-tuks. <laughs> I've never seen some like this before. Also a nice interesting one is the real park. There is a statue. Hiding the the there, a fallen angel. Why? Because he's 666 meters above the sea level. Did so you hear that? To the Theater Park, you need to go and find Lucifer as a challenge. By challenge, you can find Lucifer. Because you found his brother. His brother actually is called the plane crash. Now, this is the oldest business still running. It's a pharmacy called Reina Madre. Why did she set up someone? Is it guilty something she? Good guess. Okay. Okay. So there are new people in this crossing. They continue her straight. Right here, guys. Okay, welcome to Plata de la Villa. Now, as I was saying before, the grid is built in a bit of a mix map. Now, welcome to the thinnest district. So, we've seen the shortest. How many steps? Can you remember? 34. Ooh. This one is the thinnest. It's called the Elbow Street. Why? Because you can do like this? No, you need to do the whole thing. Because it's got the shape of an elbow. Yeah, okay, make sure we leave a little space. He had a little bit of an issue with the owner of this building. Because Quevedo liked to drink. His favorite bar was all the way down there, and his house was in Cavalta, so we eat it. We are on Calle Mayor, walking towards the royal palaces. It is. That's a cool bike. There's too many people. It's getting in my way all the time. <laughs> Some rooms under there, which I can't really see because of the reflection. They realized they don't really need this. This is a 
in the church anymore. But they wouldn't leave. I don't know if you've seen people queuing in Puerta del Sol, but they're queuing for days. Why? Because we're gonna, they're, they're selling the lottery tickets, the, the Christmas lottery tickets. Okay, this was one way to make sure that this ruin is not forgotten. And he became the mascot of luck. <laughs> And now people come and touch his bomb. <laughs> there is the church of Modena. Um, we are gonna go to a better viewing spot. Oh yeah. We climbed on a little hill and it was definitely worth it. Look at that. <laughs> Splendid. You can see some of the other side of the city. And then now the square and the royal palaces. Beautiful, amazing view. Just walking now. At the side of the real palace. You can see that the views on from the court are amazing. Okay. There, now we can see the royal palace better. But I am on the outside. I've just put my hands as usual through the grates. Um, I have decided not to visit it this time. I am curious. I just literally don't have time for everything. So I have to make some decisions about what I'm gonna go and spend my time and money on visiting. This is beautiful and Hopefully, I will get to come back to Madrid and then it's gonna be on my list. And let's have a look at the cathedral as well. There we go. It is beautiful. Same story. I'm just looking at them from the outside. And I will do the visiting another time. Thing is that when you come to a big city like Madrid, or even smaller ones, there's too many things to see, which is great. It's just not great when you don't have weeks and weeks <laughs> to spend. I just want to go and see the view from there. And let's have a look from here as well. And I saw I spotted the statue I want to include. Okay, there is a scene. I think one Paul was called. And here is a statue of him. Paul, I mean Saint Paul or however you know him from the Bible he wrote the book of Acts and or I might be completely wrong I know he wrote a lot of letters to the different churches that were forming okay and we have an amazing view over the city. I will be ending my video here because the walking tour finished just near the royal palace. So I just wanted to include the bits that were part of it. There will be other videos of Madrid so make sure you should look out for them. Okay, have a lovely day everyone! Greetings from Madrid. Okay, 
I came back to Plaza Mayor and I will be adding this on to the end of the video because well just look for yourself this is one of the places to be when you want to chill a bit after a long walk and also because I wanted to share with you a fun fact that our guide told us about the statue in the middle. Let's go there. Okay, so this is the statue of King Philip II. And though he's presented on a horse, like going into battle, he never actually did. But hey, <laughs> kings can always be represented the way they want to be seen. But the interesting part was that um, at a certain time, people started to think that the statue is haunted because they could hear noises coming from inside it and also a stench that nobody could figure out. So they started planting things around it to mask it and all that to no avail. And then later on, during war times when they were bombing the city, this area was bombed as well and it fell, the statue fell to the ground and the head of the horse rolled aside. And then what they discovered that there's loads and loads of bones inside and it turned out that it's the bones of birds that flew into the statue through its mouth and unfortunately died there. So there you go, the ghost story of the king and his horse, which got named the Pignata afterwards, of course. But it did not contain any sweets. So <laughs> it's amazing, you know, when you go and participate in a tour they always make sure to share some lesser known pearls. Now, <clears throat> here on the main facade of the building, I'm sure that you can see a lot of paintings and they are representing various muses that inspired artists over the centuries. It is a really beautiful day, the sun has come out, it was a bit overcast when I left. It's about 26 degrees and it's the end of October, so how nice is that? You will get to see this video much later in the year because I have a lot of other things to share. But hey. Okay, now I will really finish. Okay, back to the king and the horse. Bye everyone!